This is a video on how to uh, download the patches by MIDI from MIDI Ox into the Korg Wave Station. And you can see I have the status bar. Uh, I'll go over that in a minute, but it shows us downloading the information. And here's the cable hookup to the back of the Wave Station. And I see it's perceiving on the I can't see it on my little screen, but uh, one, uh, MIDI channel one is blinking, so it's receiving some information. And we'll find out if that worked or not, but this is the basic setup. Uh, your out cable goes to your end, so basically it's sending out signal to the end machine. And your, uh, your out from the machine goes to your end on the cable. And you get your basic setup of what it looks like. I don't know if you can hear, but my wave station here a very slight humming. This is due to the, the fluorescent or the tube display in there for the, for the display. It's just kind of dim on mine. It needs to be replaced, but it'll work, it works for the time being, so I'll live with it. Um, so you go into MIDI aux here. And you can take a look here. Uh, oh, I'll have to turn my camera to slight angle so the glare doesn't overwhelm it. Uh, but under MIDI aux, open up your SysX view and scratch pad. Go to File. You can go in here and you can pull up a SysX, uh, one of the files. Like here, this is the, all the files to reload the wave station. And hit cancel. We already did that. And basically, what that does is dump all the information. You have to go into settings too. Right? Let me go over that while we're here. Okay. To remember myself where that is, but that's under SysX configure. Right there. Set, uh, I set mine to 512 bytes. And uh, a 60, 64 number. Same thing with the uh, low level output, 512 and 64. Some people do it one, I think 128 and 2024. Uh, some say uh, if you do it too big, it corrupts the data. And if you do it too small, it doesn't work. Uh, but that gives you basics of it. And see any other information uh, so best is to download MIDI aux go over it learn what all the menus here are uh, this one here is see it shows you pop this open uh, just make sure everything is set up the right remember channel one out and uh, for most of the and channel one on the, the wave station Cancel. I already did that. Let's see. You just go through all the menus, study it. Yeah, but the basics are already described. Yeah. Set everything to just send out on MIDI channel one and your wave station to receive on MIDI channel one. Some programs, uh, it depends. Uh, they may read the. Uh, the fine print in there and see they all send it on MIDI channel one. Some will do it on other channels, but that's a standard one. Give that a try and see how it works. Well, I guess that's it for the basic tutorial. Once again, MIDI aux and just uh, send your SysX file. Uh, it'll be self explanatory when you get into it. And there, this is my cables. One thing I uh, would recommend is don't buy the cheapest one, which is a mistake I did. It was a pain in the ass. Just buy a, either from Roland or Yamaha or uh, another one is Emu. And uh, there's a couple other ones, uh, Uno, UNO, which are better than this. Uh, this works, but barely. Uh, I'm not going to use this one anymore. Uh, but just to give you a demo on how to do it. And... and Okay, well enjoy the video. Okay.